back out there though. Fog is going to be an issue I think tomorrow morning, but it won't be super dense, patchy in nature. The only alert in places for the gale warning, I've thrown it on this map with the wind speeds, but it's from Point Pinos down to Point Piendras Blancas. It expires at 3 a.m. I know not a lot of you heading out on the boat right now for you know, whale watching, or you're like, you know, maybe we'll see some dolphins tonight. Some steep waves with uh, wind. That'll make things hazardous out there. The bigger picture, though, is showing a couple things, and uh, we've been stuck in this weather pattern, which is a pretty stable, normal summer weather pattern for us, with the trough off to the northwest. And to our southeast, the big monsoonal high. And this high pumps up moisture into the desert southwest. Many locations down here typically get more rainfall during the summer than they do during the winter. We are on the opposite here on the coast. We get our rain during the winter, but occasionally some of these summer rains, seasonal rains, monsoon, by the way, just means seasonal rain. A lot of people associate the word monsoon with heavy rain, but it actually just means seasonal rain. So it is monsoon season across the desert southwest. Either way, some of this moisture is going to get close to us as we head through the day tomorrow and maybe into Monday and then Tuesday morning. So what does that mean for us? Well, if the moisture is here and we've got the heat of the day, we could destabilize a little bit over our inland mountains, which means there is a very slight chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of moisture and the layer that's coming in is pretty shallow, so chances of good rainfall are pretty low but there would be a chance of lightning, which we don't want to see this. Last time we got some monsoonal moisture on June 22nd, we actually got quite a bit of it. So we got rain along with the lightning. That's why we didn't have any issues. Now, that was a much more intense burst of moisture that came through. That's not what I'm expecting in the coming days. In fact, let's get to it on future cast. We'll start with overnight tonight. Low clouds, some fog as we wake up tomorrow morning into some of our valleys. We'll clear out in Santa Cruz tomorrow afternoon. We're gonna hold on to some low clouds, patchy on the south side of the bay, just like we saw today. We'll do, we will see some of that first round of moisture come up from the south tomorrow. I don't expect any showers or thunderstorms tomorrow. Uh, this will be just some high clouds, but we'll get a couple little bursts of moisture. As we go into Monday as well, We'll see some more moisture streaming in from the south, mostly in the form of some high clouds. In the afternoon, we see these clouds bubbling up over the mountains. It is possible one of those clouds may bubble up enough that it could create some light precipitation and maybe even some lightning. So it's something I'm watching. I think the best chance of this is going to be on Monday afternoon, and the best chance is farther east. So closer to the coast, your chance is lower. Closer to eastern San Benito County, your chance is higher, but still relatively low. I don't want to get anyone super hyped up and expect a ton of lightning or rain. I'm not seeing that in the models, but there's a chance, and it's worth mentioning, and tomorrow I'll have a better, chance, better idea of what I'm going to expect over the next couple of days because what these events that are pretty small in scale and are short-lived, typically you get a much better idea of how they're going to play out as you get a lot closer to them. So we'll be watching things for you. In the meantime, tomorrow's temperatures will be a little bit cooler than today. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. 90s in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys, mid-80s to 90s anyway. 75 in Santa Cruz, almost 90 up on the top of the hill tomorrow. 70 in Capitola, should be pretty nice. Watsonville and Salinas, low 70s. We'll find some 60s in Marina, but 90s in Gilroy and Hollister, right around 88 tomorrow. Monterey Peninsula, high is mostly in the low to mid-60s. Monterey's high just a little cool for this time of year and then again it's because we'll have some clouds on the south side of the bay and then farther south the salinas valley ranging from 76 in gonzalez to 104 in bradley Carmel Valley, the village, and the Big Sur Village, both in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. For the next seven days on the coast, we are in a stable weather pattern, which means not a lot of temperature change, and uh, a light northwesterly flow, for the most part, is going to keep the clouds on the south side of the base. So Santa Cruz, you might have morning fog, but your afternoons will be sunny all week. Monterey can't guarantee you sunny afternoons. There will be some low clouds around even during the afternoons. Uh, winds will be a little bit higher Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and tomorrow, but nothing extreme. Inland areas will be windy in the valleys every day. Of course, that's how it is in summer. But uh, temperatures generally trending downward with a couple bumps in the road toward next weekend. Tomorrow's temperature will be the hottest, I think, inland of the next seven. Again, there's that slight chance of mostly dry thunderstorms on Monday. Again, that chance is highest to the east, so please stay tuned to my forecast. Tune in tomorrow night. We'll have updates on that.